welcome back to another video in this video we are going to look at how to do a port channel in a Cisco stack environment before we get into the video let's look at briefly the underlying technology behind it what ether channel allow us to do what it won't allow us to do what ether channel allow us to do is it allow us to bundle multiple links from a single switch say you have switch 1 switch 2 connecting to the upstream radial switch so you can take two links here and bundle them as a port channel here same as here same as here I have a link up in the video I explained very well about the entire technology and the lab about the ether channel if you want a, a very detailed explanation go and watch that video so it allow us to as i said before is it allow us to link multiple links from a single switch it won't allow us to do take one link from here switch one take one link from here and combine as a port channel so it won't allow us to combine multiple links from a different switch if you want to combine multiple links from different switch what you have to do is you have to virtualize these two switches into one that is what exactly we are doing in the stack environment in the stack environment basically we are combining multiple physical switch and making a, a logical switch so a stack switch has only one management plane and one control plane say if you put a console cable you will be prompted to the master switch regardless so this stack can have up to nine switch so you put console cable in any switch you will be prompted to the the master switch that manage the entire stack so uh, when you have a stack environment say if you have a two switch here right now i have in the lab i have two switch in the stack so you have 48 into 296 ports and you have 96 uh, end devices Say if you have 96 cameras, high definition cameras, you have a lot of bandwidth to go up to the radio. So you cannot rely on one link. And then one, that one link goes down, you are dead in the water. You cannot do that. So what you have to do is, you have to create a port channel that can give you more resiliency and more bandwidth. Say if you combine this, take two link from this switch and two uplink from this switch and you can combine into as a say four into one gig that's a four gig bandwidth if it is a 10 gig you will get 40 gig bandwidth so it's give a really nice way to have a reliable network in your environment so port channels are very essential in a networking environment so let's look at how to how we can do this in a lab environment so this is the lab setup i have for the demo so i have 248-3750 switches here and i have a 3750-12s uh, radial switch here as I show in the diagram so I am taking two links from here and connecting here and I am taking two links from here and connecting here so I'm going to combine all of them into a one into four gig ether channel I am on the radial switch now to start the configuration the first thing you have to do is look at the ether channel summary is there anything there on the switch show ether channel summary right now I have no ether channel as I told you before I'm going to use the first four port to bundle into the ether channel so what I have to do is I have to default all these four ports into a blank configuration so default int range gig one zero one two four that will default these four ports with no configuration on it and now what I have to do is I go into this I sh need to shut these ports shut and put them into the channel group 
group one mode i am going to use uh, lscp active negotiation so i will put active here so now they are on the port channel and then it summary now now i have the ether channel with the four member ports is always a good practice you go and do all the configuration in the port channel and then propagate the configuration into the member ports so int po1 switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q switch port mode trunk is a simple configuration and these all will be propagated to the member ports and show int gig 101 you see all been configured here channel group one and but it's shut down it's going to be the same on all four ports but don't unshut the port yet now i'm going to go to the the stack switch now i am on the stack to switch so i'm going to combine port 1 and 3 from slot and port 1 and 3 from slot 2 so slot 1 1 and 3 slot 2 1 and 3 conf t i will do the same thing here also conf t default int range gig 101 default interface range gig 101 to 4 i will default all four of them i'm going to only use two and i will do the same thing 20124 so all of them are defaulted and uh, let me shut also shut oh, i have to go to the interface range int range gig 10124 shut and then two one zero one two four shut and then i need to put these ports into the port channel now so what i would do is exit interface gig one zero one group one mode can put passive here i can do the same thing one zero three one passive two zero one And uh, two zero three passing. And so let's look at show ether channel summary. Okay, you have the ether channel on the stack. All the four ports are here. They are right now down. So let's configure all these ports. From the port channel, can t int to one switch port mode switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q switch switch port mode trunk. So they all configured now, and then I go to these ports and I have to unshut these ports gig 
one zero one no shut no two no shut two zero one no shut two zero three no shut now you come to the radial and unshut the ports. You might ask a question whether we can, instead of unshutting all these ports individually, can I unshut the port channel, but it is not going to work. So let me try that here in the radial switch. Count T, int PO, one, no shut, and show, the channel summary channel is still down so what I have to do is if I go to the port and see the status the port is still shut so you have to unshut them from the physical interface point of view no shut okay now the ether channel should be up show ether channel summary all right, the port channel is up, but if you see one port is still down, but I remember I unshut all of them from here, the range command. So I must have made a mistake not unshutting 102 on the stack. So let's look at the stack. So what I did is I put a wrong port into the channel. I said I supposed to put one and three. That's where the cable is connected. So in the stack, I see one up, three is down. So let's look at show int show run int okay one zero three. Okay, it's shut down. So I have to, I forgot to shut down that port. I mean I forgot to unshut the port. Int gig one zero three no shut and show ether channel summary and now it's waiting so it's negotiating all right now it's up so if you see W means it is waiting to be aggregated that's where the negotiation happens and uh, yeah so we have ether channel formed successfully and then I already showed you even though it's one link goes down the ether channel will be is still up the ether channel will be still up until the last port is up there all right I hope this video is helpful please go ahead and subscribe like and comment on the video Thanks so much. Bye.